Hey guys, welcome to Specflow tutorial with the help of Behavior Driven Development or BDD session 1. So I am starting the Specflow tutorial from today and if you refer the same playlist, right, I will try to upload all the relevant video one by one. So in today's session, you can learn the introduction and the features of BDD or Behavior Driven Development, introduction to Specflow, introduction to Visual Studio, what are the prerequisites for installing Visual Studio 2022 and what are the steps you need to follow to install Visual Studio 2022 and what are the prerequisites required for using Specflow, what is Specflow framework all about, how you can create sample features file with the help of Jarkin keywords and how you can define step and after that how you can run the project with the help of Test Explorer using Visual Studio 2022. So what is BDD? So BDD or Behavior Driven Development gives user an opportunity to create test script from both the developers and the customer's perspective as well. So in the beginning, developer, project manager, QA, user acceptance tester and the product owner or the stakeholder all get together and brainstorm about which test scenario should be passed in order to call the software or application successful. This way, they come up with a set of test scenario. All these test scripts are in simple English language, so it serves the purpose of documentation also. In other framework, right, data driven keyword or hybrid or uh, test data driven framework, right, in case you work already worked with Selenium, you already seen, right, test are required some sort of skill, right, the Selenium skill and the programming language and the framework skill to start with those framework. But here in the BDD framework or the behavior driven development framework, not only the tester, other stakeholder like the business analyst, like product owner, scrum master, right, the developer, everyone can involve, everyone can come up, everyone can first brainstorm the application or the requirement, then they come up with the scenario. After that, those scenario can be written in the features file, then this features file can be converted in the step definition class, right? After that, we can run them as and when required. That way, all the stakeholder involved in the project from the starting of the journey, everyone can involve in the BDD, BDD or the behavior driven development framework. What are the features of BDD? So if you are able to see the diagram, right? First, we will describe the behavior, then we will run the uh, step right write the step after that we will run and fail definitely so in case it is getting failed then we can correct them right as an uh, uh, based on the right fa failure reason and after that we will run again and it will pass them unless there is an e application issue or defect is there so the, s the i mean uh, shifting from thinking in taste to thinking in behavior so we are just completely thinking right the perspective from the test to the behavior with the help of the BDD framework collaboration between business stakeholder business analyst QA team and the developer it driven by business value it will extend test driven development or TDD by utilizing a natural language that non-technical stakeholder can understand easily BDD framework such as Cucumber, Splitflow or the JBF are an enabler or acting as a bridge between business and the technical language. BDD is very popular and can be utilized for unit level test cases and as well as for UI level testing. The scenario are written based on the expected behavior of the software and it is tested to check if it matches the said scenario or not. The scenario are documented using a domain specific language such as Jarkin. In each test scenario, a natural language construct constituting small English like phrases are used to describe the behavior and expected outcome of the application. This is done using a dedicated software tool like Specflow here that allows the execution of automated acceptance tests written in Jarkin. So what is Specflow? So Specflow is inspired by Cucumber framework in the Ruby on rail words. Cucumber also uses plain English in the Jarkin format to express user story. 
once the user story and their expectation is written, then the Cucumber gem is used to execute those stores. Specflow brings the same concept to the .NET world and allows the developer to express the feature in plain English language. It also allows to write specification in human readable Jarkin format. So BDD concept are supported by Specflow. It makes writing acceptance test for .NET application that use ATDD or acceptance test driver development. Using the Jarkin language, user can build situation in simple English that anybody can understand like the developer, like the business analyst, like the scrum master, product owner or the business user as well. So Specflow is an open source project. You no need to buy any license, right? This is an open source project. The source code is hosted on GitHub. The features file used by Specflow to store an acceptance criteria for features. It can be use cases, user story, right, etc. In the application which are defined with the help of Jarkin syntax or the keyword. So in case you want to start your uh, journey with the spec flow, right, first thing is that you would require the Visual Studio in the .NET framework, right. So Visual Studio is an ID or integrated data environment developed by Microsoft its popularity comes from offering unique feature such as cloud connectivity, supported extension, easy debugging, collaboration, deployment and version control integration amongst other. Visual Studio is available for both Windows and Mac. It can be used for mobile, web, cloud, desktop application and gaming application development as well. Visual Studio is available in both free and paid version. The free version comes with basic feature whereas the fed version comes with enterprise feature. So what are the primary benefit of Visual Studio? So it's easy to install. Visual Studio is very easy to install. It comes with a platform specific installer. Simply you need to follow the on-screen instruction during installation. Easy to set up. Visual Studio come with default template. To create a project, user can choose from many available template. The ID will do the basic configuration to get it ready for usage. Extendable. Visual Studio supports thousands of extens extensions. Just hook into the ID and customize them. IntelliSense. Visual Studio support model IntelliSense for many language which makes coding easier. Right with the help of the Visual Studio, right, you can uh, do coding with the help of Java, with the help of C Sharp or Python and so many language. Version control. User can integrate version control tools like Git and easily manage them. Live share support. User can share their code in real time, which facilitates collaboration. Testing. Visual Studio makes test driven development easier with a with its built-in testing tool. User can write unit and integration test quickly. Cloud support. Integrate this ID with cloud providers such as Azure making development and deployment more straightforward and faster. Developer friendly. So developer also can Visual Studio. So Visual Studio offers various features for development such as easy refactoring, code cleanup, etc. And then from the testing perspective, right, in case you want to start with Selenium with C has, which is very, very right efficient in Visual Studio. So setting up Selenium and Visual Studio. Selenium is the most popular end-to-end -end automation testing tool in existence. It supports the most popular programming language, C has, Java, Python, JavaScript and many more. What are the prerequisites for the Visual Studio 2022 installation? This is the latest version available in the market. So user need to make sure that computer is ready for the Visual Studio. So they need to check the system requirement, right? So it should be Windows 11 version or higher. Then 64 bit machine, 32 bit machine does not support, right? Windows Visual Studio 2022, right? Minimum of 4 GB RAM, right? Minimum of, right? 1 GB hard disk to 210 GB hard disk. Then ARM 64 processor or 1.8 gigahertz or faster 64 processor, right? So ARM 32 processor are not supported. 
then definitely administrator right are required to install or update the visual studio in case you are using suppose say 2016 right you can update it but still these are the prerequisites are required to update to 2022 once these are the prerequisites they are in your system right you need to apply the latest windows update this update ensures that user computer has both the latest security update and the required system component for the visual studio then you might need to reboot your system which will ensure that any pending install or update do not hinder user visual studio installation then in case th you, there is no much free space that right, you need to free up the space free up the space you need to remove the unneeded or the unnecessary file and application from your system drive right by use running the clean desktop application etc then how you can install the visual studio 2022 in your desktop or laptop so first you need to go to the official site of the microsoft right so this is the official site where you can directly go here right as and when you go here right you will be able to see the visual studio 2022 download you need to click on the download here there will be three versions available community professional and enterprise so professional enterprise uh, version are the both the paid version where they mostly organization can uh, uh, i mean get those version with the help of uh, kind of uh, with the paid sir as a paid service so definitely there are some add on features will be there but as a in case you want to try by your own you can go with the community 2022 version simply you need to click here community 2022 immediately right the download it will start to downloading the visual studio setup right dot exe file once it is downloaded successfully couple of second it might take you need to go to your download folder right this is the download folder and after that then you need to just double click here right whatever is downloaded so it's already downloaded here so i can just double click after that right it will require some sort of admin privilege so you need to see yes right then you need to click on the continue button here so already downloaded here the i mean community version so automatically it will take not much time so here in case it is downloaded right you need to it will give you option like modify launch and more but if you go to the available in the first time right so in the available three options will be there right enterprise version professional version and the community version so you need to select the community version first and then you need to click on the install button so here it's already installed right it is not coming up so i can show you right how you can install the other version um, in case it is not installed the community version so you need to select the community version visual studio community 2022 you need to click on the install here from the available tab right after that there are so many workload you can find here right so you need to review it and you need to select whatever is required so for our cases the tester cases right we need to select that dot net desktop development and the universal studio windows platform devel development these are the two check boxes so that will find you could see automatically install the detail in the section right right hand side the things are getting automatically checked you can also still check or uncheck lot of thing from here apart from that if you uh, requ if you require to install the individual component you can go to the next tab and then you can select here right whatever is required right check or uncheck you can select the language back right it is selected as english then installation location right where it is getting installed right so it will be getting installed in the program file right you can change the path as well in case it is required here right after that you need to click on install and sometime after installation it might take couple of time right couple of seconds time or minute time after that you might need to restart your system right after selecting this thing you need to simply click on the install button here okay so that way it will be installed in your system and then you might need to restart your system once it is install your system and restart your system then you can go to the windows button here windows right uh, start menu right then you can click on the all app in case you are using right windows 10 and above that's the settings you will be getting it then you will be getting the option called visual studio right 2022 so you need to click here visual studio 2022 so 
in case you are launching for the first time these are the project will not be visible simply just you will get here right you can create open a project or explorer in case already there you can create a folder open a folder you can create a new project or you can simply continue without code right so that visual studio will open right then you need to click on file and then you can create a new project right normal new project so you need to click on the file then new and then new project right here you need to select the language whatever language you want to use you uh, whatever platform right you want to use what are the different kind of thing you want to create it as well right apart from that you can search with something so now we'll be creating a spec flow project right so here you can type something called spec flow so automatically all the relevant options will be displayed here right you could see only the one option is there called spec flow project so before that right you need to install the spec flow otherwise that will not come right so second thing is that once the visual studio installation is done then you need to Op after opening it you need to click on the extension then manage extension right and you need to go to the online here and you can type here called spec flow right so automatically it will be displayed here and then you need to select that one and you need to install it right so there will be installation button will be there back because it's already installed so that is the reason it is not coming otherwise there will be install button will become there you need to install it so that your spec flow for visual studio 2022 it will be installed in your visual studio so this is the one time activity you need to do so that all the relevant spec flow related part will come to your visual studio otherwise it will not come right so after installation of the visual studio then if you want to uh, right deal with the spec flow so these are the prerequisite required first is install microsoft visual studio then spec flow as extension in microsoft visual studio so you need to go to the ex manage extension right extension and then manage extension and here you need to search with the spec flow and then you need to download it or install it so that spec flow will be available to your visual studio right then i will create new spec flow project right so you need to click on the file then new then project and then here you can try search with spec flow right so that spec flow project will be there it will, you can see this is the c has language or c sharp windows linux or mac right it will be there and this is the test explorer options right and you can select that one and you can click on the next here you need to right give the project name and this is the path where your project will be saved you can change the path here also if you just click here you can just change it so i will see let's say i mean uh, spec flow uh, project using bdd right so automatically solution name also getting changed right so here you could see place solution and project in the same directory that option is coming so you can do it and you can simply click on the create button right so automatically as and when you are creating a spec flow project so automatically the framework will be dependent on the dot net framework and test framework any unit is automatically getting selected so you no need to install them again any unit as well in the spec flow again so that is the advantage in the visual studio 2022 in case you are using right uh, maybe lower version then whenever you are creating a project right you need to manually install the spec flow at the any unit as well right you can click on the create so it will be creating the project it will take couple of second time and it will create the project you could see right this is the solution and this is the project right and and here right automatically you could see this is solution spec flow project using bdd project name this is the solution name this is the project name this is the solution name these are the dependencies getting added here right these are the different add dependency so you could see here right microsoft.net framework then any unit then spec flow these are the thing already added right now you could see the folder structure also automatically get got created right so that is the beauty of the spec flow project so you could see this is driver folder this is the features folder where you can create the lot of features so automatically by default calculated dot features is getting created right so you can just double click here you could see 
because in case you are using the BDD uh, uh, framework, right? There will be features, then there will be scenario, then the given, when, and then syntax, right? Will be there. Then the step definition also class is getting created here, right? So now if you just try to run it, right, the specflow using BDD project, it will be run, right? You could see. So with the default features, right? So there will be hopefully there will be no error. And you can close that uh, debug debugger and you could see there is no error. If you click on the output, you could see the debug part. And then if you just select the build, right, you could see the build one success, zero fail. Then if you click on the build order, right, you could see this is the success. And if you want to get relevant for the spec flow, you can just check that one, right. What are the thing already added here? And if you click on the test, right, you could see that is the thing. Okay. Now, I will just simply remove the feature file, default features file and I will also remove the step definition class and I will create my own. So whenever you want to start with the BDD framework, these are the three things is really required. One is the features file where you will be writing your feature with the help of the Jarkin keywords, right? And then you need to write associate the steps for those, I mean, uh, those uh, steps in the features file, then you need to the test runner, right, through which you can run your code or project. So, so Microsoft Visual Studio is required, then the spec flow, you need to add it as part of the extension, then you need to create a new spec flow project, after that you need to create a new features file, spec flow features file, and then you need to add the step definition class, and you require the test explorer to run the project. This is the following prerequisite required to start with the BDD using specflow or specflow using BDD. So specflow mainly consists of three major parts: the features file, step definitions or steps, and the test runner of the explorer. So what is features file? A standalone unit or a single functionality such as login for a project can be called as feature. A file that stores data about features, their description and the scenario to be tested is called features file. So Specsflow tests are written in this feature file that are stored with an extension called .feature. A feature file can be given a description to make the documentation more legible. Right? So features file will be having some sort of feature name then it will be having the features along with the description, then it will be having the given, when, then. These are the three primary keyword, right? Will be there, you need to define mandatorily. So features, then scenario, and then given, when, and then. So feature is the high level feature, and scenario will be the <coughs> low level scenario to test the particular feature. Then given is nothing but the precursor, precondition. Then when means, what are the steps you are following? right to execute your scenario and then is the right outcome or the result you are getting it after running the uh, steps and you can uh, use and and but as well and mean right in case you are having multiples given when or then you can use it not right and but means suppose say in case you want to exclude a particular scenario then in, in case you can use a but so first we will create a features file so before that Right, suppose say I want to automate some of the basic functionality with the help of the BDD framework and the spec flow. Suppose this is my <coughs> Facebook page, I want to just open the Facebook page, right? Suppose say Facebook page, I want to open it, just simply I want to open the Facebook page and then I want to maybe add some invalid credential in the email and password, then I want to click on the login button. So it will display some error that I want to validate it, right? These are the steps I want to. So I mean, login should be unsuccessful, right? So suppose say here, if you enter something like that and password something like that, and if you click on sign in button, definitely login will not happen in the Facebook page, right? So you could see these are the messages coming. So that are the features I want to just <coughs> automate with the help of the right uh, BDD and spec flow. So I will go to the features file right I right click here I'll click add a new item right and here you, uh, you can see the option called fix fix flow and you can create a feature file right 
feature file for Flex for that option, and you can click on the B and you can rename it, right? So say instead of feature one, I want to automate the Facebook, right? Facebook home dot feature, right? Then I can click on the add. So automatically you could see whenever you are creating the pictures file, the feature scenario given when then this is the context will be coming because that is the mandatory, right? You can add so many things called tag, right? Called um, background, right? <coughs> Other thing, right? Outline you can that that the thing you'll be learning up uh, in the upcoming sessions. But suppose say feature, right? So say Facebook home page login. Right, this is the feature I want to check. Maybe with the help of the valid credential as well as invalid credential. Right, right here I can just write short summary of the features as well. Just I'm removing it and tag also. Right, right now I'm also removing it. The tag. Then the scenario. Right. So scenario is to check the login functionality for the Facebook home page with invalid credential, right? So the given. <coughs> so for that, definitely my Facebook page should be open, right? So given user navigates to the Facebook home page right then here I need to write write when so when user enters suppose say uh, any username right say test anything I can like that as username and say pass one as password right and I can give one more thing called and you could see this is the jarkin queue automatically coming and click on the so I need to click on the login button click on the login button right then what is the outcome here outcome will be the login should be unsuccessful right login should be unsuccessful okay so that is the features I want to test it so features will be Facebook login page but I want to check whether that with the help of the inbuilt credential right I am not able to log in so that is a simple right jargon language plain and right plain English language so anyone can understand what is the objective what are the precondition what are the step we are performing and what is the outcome so that is the beauty of the BDD framework so whatever you are in case you are using JBF or uh, or cucumber or the spec flow it does not have any impact but that is the right characteristic of the BDD of the behavior different development framework so you need to have the features you need to have the scenario and in the scenario you need to give the given when and then condition right so now if you want to just start uh, right right you could see after your features is there you need to define the step right for each and every step right whatever uh, I mean step you are add, adding in the features file you need to add right in the step definition okay so now first try to run it and let's see what the problem is coming without the steps now close it so there is no issue if you go to the output here build it is already completed now if you go to the test explorer if you want to run all test right you could see here it is starting to run so that is the way you can run all your right test from the project or the explorer so it is trying to run you could see not run 
outcome is not run so if we expand it right so you could able to see this is the functionality not run so what is the error is coming no matching step definition found for one or more steps so definitely it is not able to understand this is the simple and english language right so you need to convert it to the suitable right programming with the help of the programming syntax or the method so that then you can try to understand it right so it is giving some suggestion so you can copy it right and you can paste it and you can create a uh, kind of features uh, sorry step definition class in the that folder otherwise let's close here and let's try to right click here and let's click define step so that is the way you can define the steps so once your features is created right with the help of the jarkin keyword with the help of right feature scenario given when then and and but keywords right your feature is successful i mean uh, that your features file creation is successful then you need to define the step this is a part of second step so now that the features are written in this features file the code for the related scenario need to be run so to know which batch of code need to be run for a given scenario <coughs> step definition come into the picture a step definition file stores the mapping data between each step of a scenario defined in the feature file and the code to be executed so user can simply right click each of the line on the features file individually or right click any space to scope all the line and define step this will create step definition for each line right so definition step definition will not be there for the feature of the scenario but only for the steps the step definitions will be there this process should create argument for user methods or every parameter they are using in the feature file user can choose to copy the step definition to the clipboard or create a new class dot cs already containing them okay so now let's right click here and let's define steps you could see now for each and every steps right given when and and then there are four steps so you could see given then when and again there is a and symbol but it is coming under the when that is the reason also it is when then then so yeah automatically it is giving suggestion right that which class name you want to create it so you can change the class name you can copy to the clipboard or you can create here so that it will be coming under the defined steps right step definition class added one class will be added this is the class name with the help of the extension of dot cs so you could see <coughs> automatically it got created right now if you again go to the test runner right here and if you just run all test or if you click here test explorer as well so that you can able to see right how it is executing and you can click here run all test in view or here run right to final i am mean, running the final step so you need to open the test explorer from the top menu test test explorer and let it discover all the steps now you can run it again and that now see whether it's running or not so it started running so it might take couple of seconds time to refresh it okay now if you go here again click test here uh, test explorer okay so one or more step definition not implemented okay so where again it is getting warning because the problem is that here whatever thing is implemented right here the throw dot pending exception part is there so you need to remove it okay so i need to remove it i need to remove it i also need to remove it now if i save it and if i want to run all test again yeah you could see now it got passed right this is the standard output is coming 
this is fast here this is fast right so this is the user standard output is coming now if you want to add some of the steps here right so without selenium right suppose if you want to print something so in case you are using c has right there is a if you want to print something you need to use console right console dot write line right that is the command you need to use it and here you need to type something in case you want to uh, print some string right so suppose say um, given syntax executed right and I can enter semicolon similarly for the other two step right here I can add called something called then given when right when first syntax executed because this is there is a two when steps similarly here I can write when second and here I can write called then then syntax executed right and I can save it and now again I can go here test and I can run all test and so automatically it will try to run the code again <coughs> now you could see this is passed right again one step pass right and now you could able to see right these are the thing got executed given syntax executed this is the output is coming as well right when first syntax executed when second syntax executed then syntax executed so now just we have tried to add some steps manually where I want to just print something but we did not just uh, return the step right the suppose say in case in the first here uh, in the first right I can uh, kind of initialize the driver and it will just I can let that code know right that open the driver and here the enter something value identify the element that part will be covered in the upcoming session where with the help of the BGD framework as well right you can get to know how you can navigate to the application how you can add the assertion and the remaining other features slowly so just follow the playlist thoroughly if you want to learn the spec flow using BDD framework from the scratch. So that's for all from today's session. Thank you.